And we're back. 515 is the time. Again, our developing story at this hour. Of course, the latest on that uh, Richmond San Rafael Bridge toll booth shooting. The gentleman on the right there, Nathaniel Burris, 46 year old. He was the chief suspect in this shooting, which happened yesterday at about six o'clock or so. Police say he drove up to the toll plaza, got out after parking in the parking lot, shot a man in the parking lot, then walked up to one of the toll booths and shot the toll taker inside. An all points bulletin was put out overnight. They thought he might be on Interstate 80 headed towards Sacramento. And in fact, he was on Interstate 80 early this morning at about three o'clock. They discovered he had gone well past Sacramento up into the Sierra and was arrested in the town of uh, in the town of and let me look up the latest here. The town of uh, tr well, not Truckee. Uh, let me get it here. Baxter. Yeah, Baxter. That's what it is. He was arrested in Baxter by Truckee police officers and the CHP. Uh, and they're uh, apparently at this point holding him in Placer County Jail. He's going to be questioned by Richmond police officers uh, later on this morning. They're going to drive up there and bring him back. But it obviously caused a huge backup during the commute yesterday, 6 o'clock, right in the heart of the commute. But they say he is in custody, and they're going to be questioning him. At this point, the relationship between him and the victims sort of sort of turns out he was uh, apparently a, a boyfriend of the toll taker. Uh, had been at one point maybe even living with her at a, t at a time, and so this might be some sort of domestic dispute. No, uh, no relationship uh, known yet between him, the chief suspect, and the gentleman that was shot in the parking lot. On the phone with us this morning, we do have uh, Trent Cross joining us this morning, actually live with the very latest on this. Good morning, Good morning. Uh, Officer, Tr Officer Cross. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. So, uh, well, quite a series of events here overnight. Walk us through now what happened at 6 o'clock all the way through about 3 a.m. this morning. Yeah, last night at approximately 6 o'clock, we received a call of shots fired at the San Rafael Richmond Toll Plaza. Uh, when CHP officers arrived on scene, there was one female victim deceased in toll number three, as well as one gentleman uh, deceased in the parking lot. Uh, we believe that the suspect initially shot the gentleman in the truck first. He ran on foot over to toll plaza number three and shot the female victim multiple times uh, with a shotgun. And then he ran back to his work vehicle and fled the scene in a westbound direction. And he was heading on uh, 80 westbound towards Sacramento at that time? Yes, at approximately uh, 311 this morning, a California Highway Patrol officer out of Gold Run spotted the suspect vehicle. And so due to the circumstances surrounding the crime, the officer waited for assistance and westbound 80 east of Baxter is when the officer initiated a traffic stop and the suspect pulled to the right shoulder and was arrested without incident. And so he's in uh, Placer County Jail right now? Yes, he's in Placer County Jail right now uh, waiting for Richmond police detectives to interview him. And then at some point he'll be brought back to Contra Costa County to be held to answer for his actions. Okay. Now, because this crime happened on a freeway, is it CHP or is it Richmond PD who will head up the investigation? Well, due to the level of expertise with Richmond PD in handling these type of incidents, they'll be the lead agency, but we'll be working along with them to try to put all the pieces together as to exactly what took place. Okay. Now, do you have any uh, information this morning as to the relationship between the suspect and the victims? Yeah, it appears as though uh, they used to date in the past, and so this was some type of domestic violence related issue. Uh, however, the scene here yesterday was very horrific, yeah. and it's very tragic that these two individuals had to die in this kind of fashion. Wow. So what happens from this point? Okay, so you said Richmond detectives will go up and talk to him. When can we expect him to be brought back to the Bay Area to face charges? Uh, right now, that's going to be unknown. But I anticipate it may be sometime today, maybe later in the day. And so they're going to go up there, interview them, and try to get an idea as to what the motive was and gather more information in relation to this crime. Okay, so he'll stay up there for the time being until they've uh, decided that they want to bring him back then? Yes. All right. Very good. Uh Trent Cross, thank you so much for joining us this morning and, and uh, offering whatever information you have. Thank you again, and hopefully we'll talk to you again a little bit later on. All right, 519 is the time. Let's uh, change the topic here and talk about the weather. We've got some things to uh, chat about. Going to be cool again today along the coast. Uh, Devlin Taft following all that. Morning, Ev. Good morning, James. We're looking at cool temperatures indeed for the next few days, especially around the coast and bay. And the beginning of your work week, we are expecting a bit of a warm-up.
523 the time right now. Let's get a check on traffic with George. Thanks, Evelyn. We did in our last report here about a vehicle fire. It had just been reported for the Marin Ride 101 southbound around Lincoln Avenue near the Civic Center and uh, up toward High Street on the Nimitz. An eight minute drive time this morning. The time is 523. We'll take a short break on the Cron 4 Morning News and be back right after this. And we're back. 526 is the time. And this just into the Cron 4 Newsroom. Organizers say the Michael Jackson tribute concert in Vienna now will be set on September 26th. So they have a date for that now in Vienna, September 26th. And just looking at the wires this morning, another new bit of information. You know, investigators have been looking into Dr. Conrad Murray, Michael Jackson's private physician. They raided a pharmacy near his Las Vegas offices, searched the records, and have been able to confirm, apparently. Uh, there is evidence there showing that Dr. Murray legally purchased that uh, potent anesthetic propofol for use with Michael Jackson. If that's the case, then he did uh, commit some crimes here, bringing that into the state of California. He was not licensed to administer or prescribe medications here in California. More on this story as it develops. All right, 527 is the time. Again, as we go to break here, a live picture from the Richmond San Rafael Bridge toll plaza, the scene of yesterday's horrific shooting of two people. Two people shot and killed yesterday at the toll plaza. We'll have more on the investigation and the arrest of a suspect this morning. We'll be right back.